Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan. In this very exciting video of algebraic equations, where we are going to solve one quartic equation. We will be solving this question by two methods. First one is conventional method, and second one is using algebraic method or trick. So let's get started. I will consider method one. Let me write. I will consider if these two brackets at one place and these two brackets at one place then you will see what will happen x plus 4 x minus 5 x plus 6 x minus 7 equal to 504 now take the product these two and these two. If I will take the product, then x square minus 5x plus 4x minus x minus 20. Here I will be getting x square minus x minus 42 equal to 504. See, this is the advantage of considering these two brackets at one place so that after getting product, you will have these terms similarity. So this is one of the advantages. If you will cross verify, you will cross check with other brackets, other parentheses, you won't get the similar term in x square as well as in minus x. So point is now we will give substitution x square minus x equal to t. So equation will convert into t minus 20 t minus 42 equal to 504. Once you will expand this, then we will have t square minus 62t plus 840 equal to 504. Take all the terms towards left, t square minus 62t plus 336 equal to 0. See it is quadratic equation. So we can consider quadratic formula or any other method. So if I will consider 336 then I can write 336 as the product of 56 and 6. I am trying to split the middle term. I will factorize. I won't put that quadratic formula. So what I am going to do, I, I will write this minus 62 as t square minus 50, 60 minus 60. This 62 I have split it into 56 and 6. If you will check the product, then it is 336. So I will write plus 336 equal to 0. Let me take t common. So t minus 56, negative 6 common, t minus 56 equal to 0. So ultimately I have t minus 6 and t minus 56 equal to 0. Remember our substitution because now t is 6, t is 56. I will substitute here in our substitution equation. So let me write t equal to 6 and 56 where t is x square minus x. Now we will solve two quadratic again and then we will collect our answer. So let me consider x square minus x which is equal to t equal to 6. One equation x square minus x is equal to 56. This is our equation number 2. Equation number 1 from these two t values. So let me write here x square minus x minus 6 equal to 0. Let me apply quadratic formula now. Minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. Minus 4ac will give us 24 with plus sign. 
over 2 is so 2. 1 plus minus 5 over 2. If I will consider plus, then 3. If I will consider minus, then negative. So here we are having two values. Now come to second quadratic. X square minus X minus 56 equal to 0. X is equal to minus B. So 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 AC. So 56 times 4 to 24 with plus sign over 2A. So it will become 1 plus minus 15 over 2. If I will take plus sign, then it will become 16 over 2, 8, minus sign, negative 14 over 2, negative 7. These are four solution of the quartic equation. Let me write here, negative 2, 3, negative 7 and 8. If you want to verify, then we can verify after substituting x value in the equation. Okay, now come to the second method which is conventional method. What is that method? We'll expand this completely. We'll get one quartic equation. Then we'll use rational root theorem. We'll find out our first solution or root of the quartic equation using remainder theorem or synthetic division method. That method is very long. That's why I took this method as a method number two. I will write direct steps, okay? If you will take the product, then this equation will give us x, x power four minus two x cubed minus 61 x square plus 62 x plus 336 equal to zero. Okay, now rational root theorem, that's the statement is find out the factors of 336, the constant term. As you can see, our leading coefficient term is 1. So, whatever you will get from here, because of here it is 1. So, factors are, there are number of factors, but if you will put x equal to 1, see plus minus 1 is there, plus minus 2 is there, plus minus 3 is there, you can write like this. Way. So if you will put x equal to 1 minus 1, it won't satisfy. As you can see, this term is 336. Let me put x equal to negative 2 after that. So once you will put negative 2, your equation will give 16 plus 16 minus 244 minus 124 plus 336, which is equal to 0. 368 minus 368, which is ultimately 0. So, important point is we have got the first solution of the given quartic equation. First root of the given quartic equation. So, now I will apply x is equal to minus 2. I will apply synthetic division. Let me write 1, negative 2, negative 61, 62, 336. First coefficient as it is 1. Now negative 2 times 1, negative, negative 4, 8, negative 53, 1, 0, 6. What we'll get? 168. And once I will multiply 168 with this, negative 336. You can see it is 0. Now this equation will become one factor is x plus 2, this one, times, this is x cube minus 4x square minus 53x plus 168 equal to, again, rational root here, 168, if you will observe, then you will have plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and so on, will have one series, as you can see, the leading coefficient is 1. Whatever we are getting from the constant coefficient, that would be the eligible roots of the equation, I can say. Okay, now I am going to substitute 1, 2, you can check. 
I will put x equal to 3 directly in this equation. Okay, let me put x equal to 3. So this equation will give us 27 minus 36 minus 159 plus 168. If you will put that and check, then it will come out 195 minus 195, which is 0. That means x equal to 3 is the solution of this cubic equation. x equal to 3 is the solution of this cubic equation. Okay. So now let's find out one more factor. Again, I will apply synthetic division. So once I will apply synthetic division for x equal to 3, I will write here x equal to 3. The coefficients of cubic equation was 1, negative 3, negative 15, 168. First term would be as it is 3 times 1, 3, negative 1, 3 into negative 1, negative 3, negative 56. Take the product 3 into negative 56, it will give us 168. So 0. Now equation convert into x square minus x minus 56 equal to. Now either apply formula or you can split. Let me apply formula here. So, so far we have x plus 2, x minus 3. And this is your product. Once I will apply formula, I will get x plus 7 and x minus 8. It is same equation, same quadratic equation. You can apply formula also. We have solved using formula. That means x is equal to negative 2, 3, negative 7 and 8 are our solution. If you want to check, verify from the given equation, it will verify. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.